My name is Sister Leona Smith. I am celebrating this year 60 years as a CND. I am only here in Sydney since uh, 2011 when they named me coordinator of the Cancer Center here at Holy Redeemer. So what we're doing here is exactly what Marguerite Bourgeois did in the very beginning, going to the needs of those who are suffering and those who are in want. And that's what we're doing here at Holy Redeemer. We have people who come, they stay anywhere from one week, five weeks to eight weeks, getting radiation treatment or chemo treatment. Some uh, have a difficult time, but they surmount all of that. I don't believe we ever had anyone here who went around who was very morose or poor me or anything like that. They were very, very um, happy, sharing in conversation. They don't isolate themselves. They're, they're tremendous. You, you learn a lot by watching these people, how they accept their suffering. And, and they don't they, they don't find it suffering at all. They just say, well, we're just going through this now, and whatever happens, God is still here. They share with us. It's like one gentleman was going out one day, and I happened to come by, and I wished him well. And he said, you know, sister, this mission is what the church would want you to do. This is what God wants you to do going to those in need. And you must have people who come here who do not have the means to even be here. And I said, that is no problem. They're tremendous people. And some of them are a bit intimidated when they hear all of a sudden, oh my goodness, is this a convent? And we say, yes, yes, but that's all right. And they say, well, is it just Catholics come here then? Oh, no, 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 this is non-denominational. Anyone who has a need and who wants to come here is most welcome. I think Marguerite Bourgeois was a, a woman of conviction. I believe that she had such a great love in her heart to for people and the people of God. I, I really believe deep in my heart that she was convinced that anything she was doing was exactly what God wanted her to do. And for that reason I think her going out to people, doing the whatever she could do, and sometimes it wasn't, it didn't seem very much at the time, but for the people on the receiving end, it was a different story. They really and truly accepted that. She was a person who, person who had a, a, just a deep, deep faith and conviction that, that her mission, her vocation, was to go out to the people of God. And they saw that in her. They had to have seen it in her.